Hang on for a quick ride uphill on a double-headed oil extra here on the narrow gauge branch of the Burlington Northern the model railroad set in 1973 in the Seattle region. I'm your host Bruce Stewart and welcome to part 25 of my continuing series of operations videos. We started our run down in the Delta Yard in Everett, Washington with a Blackstone K-27 and a C-19 lashed up together, pulling all of the tank cars that were being unloaded into standard gauge cars at the interchange there in Everett. In normal times, this would be a slow-paced operation where we would stop at the intermediate towns and pick up extra empty tank cars. But today we were just anxious to get everything out of Delta so that I could do some spray painting of the track. So this is what you would call an, uh, maybe an urgent run to simply relocate equipment. I'll show you how the spray painting turned out at the end of the video. Robin Peel was here at the time and he was only too eager to run this train for me. Here we are pulling into the town of Paradise and instead of a caboose, we have a scratch-built car by Jim Vale that I picked up from his estate after he unfortunately passed away a couple of years ago. Jim Vale was a very famous narrow-gauge modeler who inspired me greatly. One of the ways he inspired me was that he loved to build track right along the edge of the wall, which is about the only place I had room for a narrow-gauge. And as you've seen in many of these videos, I took advantage of that idea. The narrow gauge is really shoehorned into this peninsula. This spot right here is the ruling grade on the narrow gauge line because I have to get clearance above the standard gauge line in the portal that you see to the right there. We wouldn't normally run trains this fast, but like I said, we were just in a hurry to clear out the Delta Yard so we could do some spray painting. So after another loop around the peninsula, we emerged at the new skewed bridge, approaching the new town of Opportunity on the second deck. You can see by now this brand new second deck is already cluttered up with various buildings and rolling stock to see how I want to lay it out permanently. This pretty much brings us to the end of our run, except that I want to show you some scenes from the spray painting. But first, here is a still overview shot of the upper deck with all of this rolling stock piled up there. Uh, and you can see the blue masking tape down in the lower level of Delta Yard where I wanted to spray paint the track a nice weathered wood color. Starting from the right side of Delta, I put down masking tape everywhere that I already liked the color of the track well enough or I wanted to protect the grass in between tracks. You can also see that I masked all of the ground throws for the turnouts that are located in this yard. Looking back on the whole scope of the yard, I wish I had done the spray painting before I laid the track, but that's the way it goes. This took an entire spray can of weathered wood spray paint and smelled up the house like you would not believe. But it's done now and I'm glad to get it over with. But anyway, now you can appreciate why we were in such a hurry to move those oil cars out of here so we could get this job done. So for now, this is your host, Bert Stewart, wishing you much fun with trains, and see you later.